What's up guys, Taklash here and today we are going to talk about Huawei and more specifically their Mate 30 series which is soon going to be launching and we are very excited about what the features that series is going to bring on the table. Now recently there was a leak regarding the camera setup on the Mate 30 and the Mate 30 Pro and the camera setup on these devices are looking quite insane as the camera setup is not identical to what we saw with Huawei P30 Pro. Everyone was expecting that we are going to see similar camera setup to what we saw with P30 Pro but this time around Huawei is going to differentiate between their P series and their Mate series and this is not only related to cameras uh, there are other aspects where Mate series is seriously different from Huawei P series because Huawei does not want to go the same route which Samsung took with their Note and S series because that would lead to a similar cell phone after every 6 months. Huawei's strategy is quite evident just from the front side of the device where we can see that with Mate series Huawei is giving a facial recognition 3D sensor while on the other hand with their P series they are not including any type of such sensor so they are quite differentiating between their P series and their Mate series and this time around Mate series is supposedly coming with a dual 40 megapixel camera sensor and also uh, there is also going to be an ultra wide angle lens. Now the interesting part is that Mate series is going to ditch the periscope camera which we saw with Huawei P30 Pro and it is going to continue having the similar uh, optical camera setup which we saw with Huawei Mate 20 series. So you are going to see 3x optical zoom and then it is going to go upwards of 15x or even 30x with the digital hybrid technology which Huawei uses. Now if you are wondering what the 40 megapixel camera sensors are going to achieve then the basic 40 megapixel camera is going to be the primary camera and it is going to come up with an aperture of f1.5 and that would lead to great low light shots and it is also going to be coming up with the Huawei's latest color science which includes our YYB sensors so this time around you are going to see some insane shots and it is expected that the nighttime photography is even going to get better uh, with Huawei Mate series so you are going to see much more better result when compared with Huawei P series which is already the current flagship market leader when it comes to night photography. Another surprise from Huawei Mate 30 series is going to be the 40 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. Now it is not uh, surprising that Huawei is going to include an ultra wide angle camera because we saw these cameras uh, in past cell phones from LG and even Huawei Mate 20 series had an ultra wide angle camera but this is the first time that any company is emphasizing on their ultra wide angle camera and including high amounts of megapixels when it comes to the sensor used with ultra wide angle camera. Now it was not revealed why this camera is going to come up with 40 megapixel sensor but if my guess is true then this is going to achieve much better macro mode. You see with Huawei Mate 20 series Huawei used the ultra wide angle camera not only for the ultra wide angle shots but also for the macro shots because using ultra wide angle camera you can get up close with different subjects and you can easily see different details and with this 40 megapixel sensor you are going to see much better detail when compared with the last year sensors. Another interesting inclusion in the Huawei camera setup is going to be the cine lens option which Huawei recently trademarked. Now if you don't know what the cine lens is then uh, you might be uh, new to videography because this is the technique which is used to color grade different images. This was introduced with Xperia 1 and Huawei is also going to include this in their cell phones which essentially means that you are going to get much better filters and these filters are going to be directly applied from the data coming from the sensor instead of applying it on the compressed video like every other cell phone device. So if you are using any kind of software and you modify any kind of video then you would already know that the compressed video does not give you uh, much of a headroom and if you apply filters the quality of the video usually gets lowered but if the filters are applied directly on the data coming through the camera sensor then uh, you would get much better results. Now only time will tell how these cameras and these technologies actually will perform 
but one thing is for sure that these cameras are seriously going to shape up the mobile phone camera industry for the upcoming year. Also it was very interesting to see that Huawei is not including their periscope camera because most of the people were liking it when P30 came along but maybe they are doing it just to keep these two cell phone devices separate. Other internals include a Kirin 985 chipset which is going to be integrated with a 5G modem and also this cell phone is going to support 55 watts of fast charging and 10 watts of wireless reverse charging and before this it was only able to support 2.5 watts of reverse wireless charging which was not that good. In fact in some cases it was not even enough to power some cell phones so instead of charging your cell phone you were not even able to use it so this 10 watt charging is seriously going to up their game when it comes to reverse wireless charging and this feature was first introduced with mate 20 and then samsung adopted it and it is now already available on their s series now i want to know what are your opinions regarding the huawei mate 30 series and whether you would consider huawei mate series as your next daily driver or you are going to stick with iphones and samsung do let me know in the comment section below and if you're new to the channel, do subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.